Welcome to Legend of Dragoon Part 110. This is it. It's time for us to finally catch up to Zeig and whoop his ass because he is long overdue for one. And that's after we got finished taking care of the final Virage the game. And what we just picked up was the Detonate Arrow. The Detonate Arrow is basically like the attack that was used by the Elves while we were in the Evergreen Forest. It may be an all-enemy damaging weapon and the only one in the game, but it's relatively weak due to Miranda's power overall. Is it needed in the final battle? Some say yes, I say no, because I have a better strategy for it. And besides, I have no intention of using Miranda for this fight anyway. Shauna! Oh crap! She's almost absorbed! Damn it, Zeke! First Mappy and now you! Ah, just when we finally catch him, he does this. You don't deserve to use spirits. I, I agree with you, Rose. You say it even after this? Oh yeah, that's right, he hasn't died. Oh no, the red-eyed dragon still recognizes you. This is the truth. And the annihilation of the world that is about to occur is the truth as well. Dad, stop it! The power is not generated for that. If you only knew, everything was born to die. It is the same for spirits or the world. Oh, that is messed up. Learn through your body. Stop! I'm calling a pause on that. Anyway, now it's time for us to fight Zeke. And the first attack Dart actually does, it's not going to do any damage to Zeg at all. Whether you complete the addition or not. What's wrong with you, Dart? You're so pathetically weak. And look how badass that sword is. And also... A little word of note, all of Zeke's attacks, except for the Red-Eyed Dragon, is much flashier. The only attack that Zeke does not use is Explosion. I don't think he feels the need to do so. But he does do Flame Shot, Final Burst, and he uses the Red-Eyed Dragon. And by God, it will hurt everyone in the party except for Dark, provided he has the red-eyed dragon armor. Good news is, Zeke only has 12,000 HP, so enough additions can pretty much knock him down. But eventually I may have to use Mary because of how powerful Zeke is. Now, if I would have bought Congo or Miranda in this fight, it would not have ended well. Due to the fact that Congo has very low magic defense and Miranda's low level. Again. Oh, excuse me, I apologize for that. So far, so good, though. Some may claim this to be one of the hardest battles in the game. I doubt that seriously. Just so long as you grind yourself into a com comfortable level. And of course you will. This fight will be no problem at all. Just make sure you keep Meru alive. And... Or any healer for that matter, matter alive. And you'll be able to survive Zeke. But it's better to use Meru because, well, Z 
Zeke is fire, Meru is water. Meru may take more damage from Zeke, but vice versa, Zeke will take more damage from Meru. And it's not just from her addition. And Christ Almighty, I knew he was going to do that, but I didn't know when. And unfortunately, he decides to do that now. Not cool. And he's off! The only one that's probably going to be unfazed by this is Dart. And... Ouch! Wow! It did some serious damage to Meru. And Albert hasn't healed up from the Dragoon... What? No. Albert hasn't healed up from this... From actually coming up here. Because we ran into a random encounter before coming to this fight. So that's why I have to use um, Meru's Dragoon Spirit. Oh, by the way, to Azergard! Ah, uh, one last time with Feely. But anyway... Let's heal both me and Albert... Well, Meru and Albert, because Albert lost half of his HP in Meru. One more shot from Z would definitely kill her. So let's put her in a comfortable zone, like at full health comfortable. But this is turning out to be a pretty good battle so far. Alright, what are you gonna do now? Ah, flame shot again. And he's using it at. Well, he's posed. He used the Hadouken pose. Or was it the Command Mailway pose? No, I mean the Command Mailway pose, sorry. It doesn't matter which one he used, the fact of the matter is, uh, that really hurt. And seeing as how Dart doesn't have a Dragoon Spirit, it would be best to use Dart for Power Up, Power Down, Speed Up, Speed Down, and Sight Bomb X. Nah. I'd rather use something else on him. I think I know what. This'll hurt just fine. I'll probably land one more of these on him, and that may just do it. Or this may do it right now. Alright, Meru. I think you can get one more turn in. Or maybe Alper can finish him off. Please don't miss the addition. Please don't miss the addition. Damn it! Ah, uh, here we go. But it's okay though, man. He's almost dead. And to be honest, I did pretty good without nobody dying. <coughs> no, excuse me. Damn it! I just wish I could stop missing those uh I, I mean additions, man. They will do really well against enemies, and if I don't complete them, they'll do minimum damage. <clears throat> it's going to happen, folks. It really will. If you have an ultimate war god, it won't happen at all. But the way I set up Dart, I really don't need an ultimate war god. But nonetheless, that last freezing ring should just about do it. And it did! Alright, time to end this Zeke. Game over! Wow. I did not expect that to happen. 
Just as much as I don't expect Kongol's clothesline either. The time has come! I no longer need this flesh. Wait, what? What does he mean by that? Oh. Oh. What? Well, looks like hijack by Ganon's invoked here. Melbu Frama! And hijack by Ganon indeed! But we've got 20,000 experience points from this. And that's a lot of experience points. But, just damn. Melbu Frama just appeared out of. N well, no, I don't think he appeared out of nowhere. He will explain. I've been waiting for this moment for over 10,000 years. Why? You must have been defeated by Zeeg. In fact, everybody saw in episode 52, he was. It's true that the sword of that man penetrated me, but what vanished is only my flesh. I cast a petrifying spell on the man. At the same time, I transmigrated my soul to the spirit. So in short, he pulled the old while the hero was kicking my ass, I was secretly doing something to screw him over in the long run cliche trick. The sublime soul is immortal. How long have you been manipulating my dad? At that moment, I re-entered the light. The first light after 11,000 years. When the black monster came to meet, that foolish soul tried to release the power of the Dragoon without knowing that I was waiting for that moment. In short, Melbu Frama was the if Melbu Frama was in neat, that son of a bitch killed Claire. I was released from and I was revived. Ugh, god damn it. Now he wants to become a god. You self serving son of a bitch. No, 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 you're not taking that. I'll be taking Godhood over here. Whee! That's pretty much what he's thinking right about now. Ah, <sighs> that asshole. Is he merging with the Virage embryo? Is he going to be the god instead of Shauna? Looks like it. You are right. I obtained the flesh of the god of destruction. I am the god himself. A god? Don't make me laugh. Wait a minute. Who the hell? Lloyd? Oh, you bastard. You're alive? You know, I really should take pity on you, but no, I, I, I shouldn't. I cannot die with the wrong god still around. There is no space for you in my utopia. And we're forced into yet another battle. One that we can't escape from. And one that we can't do nothing about. So just sit here and do nothing. And remember folks, Lloyd kicked our asses in chapter one. You're about to see something really screwed up in just a moment. Yeah, this is the attack also that Lloyd did in uh, Chapter 3. And it does nothing to Melbu Frama. You bothersome dragon fight, it's annoying. Christ!
Josh. And Lloyd has been one shotted. Literally. My God. That's really messed up. Like the one guy that owned Dart. Not once, but twice if I hadn't had a talisman on him. Gets one shotted by Nobu Frama. What is this? You should know what that is. He had this for the entire time. It is the dragon's the Jagoon spirit of the Divine Dragon and the Dragon Buster. Are you here to give us this? Don't get conceited. I just ended up here while I was pursuing my own ideal. Even in death you're an asshole. Yeah, right. His birth will be the death of the world. Hurry up. Stop him. Farewell. People who confronted the fate of Soa. Well, that's the end of Lloyd. Honestly, he did not deserve a heroic sacrifice after what he did to Lavitz. And then in Grad. But we got the Divine Dragon Spirit! And Rose's ultimate weapon! Now we've got every ultimate weapon in the game. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, the final battle is upon us. But first, I'm going to make a slight bit of preparations here. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to arm Rose with the... Where is it? Where is it? There it is! Let's arm Rose with the Dragon Buster, and we will be on our merry way. Well, not before we replace Hassel with Dart. I mean, with Albert, sorry. We can't replace Dart. And just... And just in case if uh, some sort of screw-up happens... <coughs> Honestly, I'm in no need to use Meru anymore, so how about I just change over the Ultimate War God to Rose, seeing as how she has the War God Sash and all. She honestly doesn't need it. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I am set. Everyone has been healed to max stats, except for Dragoon Spirit, and I will see you guys in the final episode of Legend of Dragoon, and trust me, this one's going to be a beefer and a doozy as we take on Mel Buframa. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time, and one last note, I'm going to be pretty sad when this game's over, but at the same time, I'm kind of happy for its conclusion. Because finally, we get to kick this scumbag who's caused all this trouble's ass. Ah, so refreshing. See you guys next time!